Happy Halloween, booze and ghouls! This is Zex tonight. Welcome back. We are playing some more Wizard of White Box. When we last left off, I couldn't figure out what the fuck to do. So I looked up what to do. And for some reason, I can't figure out and was not explained. The dial uh, behind the box it, it's 52. So I gotta figure it. Oh, wow. I But like looking at that, like I... It's the dice thing. So it's like there's a 2 and a 3 and a 1. I don't know how you get 52 out of any of that. I don't know. Like, I don't see it, but whatever. I don't know. Maybe someone can explain it to me. Anyway, um, yeah, let's go down. Because why not? Um. Oh, wow. What's with this room? This is your in study, but why would... It be in a place like this, because he's trying to hide shit. Flowers and a girl that appear to be Maria are depicted here. Uh, she probably drew it too. There's liquid medicine and herb stuff in the bottle. Um, notes that appear to have been written by Grin. Okay. Um, probably nothing different on these shelves, but- whoa. Various countries. Um, oh. Maria shows me smiles without any worry at all. Sometimes it feels unbearably excruciating. Um. Alright. What is this note? It appears to be a map of the nearby area with a ton of X marks on it. Looking closely, everywhere leads to a dead end and there's no exit recorded anywhere. Maybe by mistake there was... Oh, maybe by mistake there was squiggly lines scribbled at the top of the drawing. From the part I can just barely read it, this appears to be an apology letter. Okay. There's a book here. It appears that this box head has become the core of this space. Ever since my head became this way, I, I've been able to handle her memories, knowledge, and skills as if it were my own from the very beginning. Even magic. Her everything is stuffed inside this box. Uh, so like he, her stuff is in his box head? I don't know. Unlike her ancestors, she had no more than just a little magic power. Perhaps the reason why it became this huge is because of the attachment to life or the resentment that comes from the despair and vengeance. Um, I wonder if Maria was the witch. Just how would I be able to calm her, I wonder. In the end, does Maria hold the key? Is there any means by leaving all these here, I want? I don't know. Oh, that wasn't him, I don't think. It appears that in this village, her ancestors were once fortune tellers and received a fair amount of respect. However, their power weakened with each generation, resulting in more and more failed divinations. Eventually, the villagers started to blame her for a calamity that she was unable to predict. Under persecution, her ancestors quickly started to take up residence and live within the village's forest. This is probably the beginning of the village's witch legend. Oh. Something fell. I've tried living together with her now, but there are no signs that Maria's memory is coming back at all. She also lost her power, and now is just truly is truly just an innocent girl. Was this her? Was this the? Was this the witch? Maria's final wish. I wonder. Oh, so she was the witch. The witch Maria. In any case, it seems like it'll be necessary to wake Grin up and press him for an answer. Yeah, we should do that. Um, I guess. Suppose. Now let's go, Maria. In order for our wish to be granted. Yeah. Oh! Oh. I wish... That's right, Maria. For you are necessary. Me... Ah, oh, God, splurgy ghost. Come on. Now come with me. Oh, hang on. Now come with your own feet to get out of here yourself. Oh, God. 
Don't be afraid, accept it all. And curse them for eternity. Uh, I don't like that. No, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not good. Don't do it. Oh, she was the witch, and then, like, he came to, like, vanquish her, and he couldn't, so, like, he, like, keeps all of her witchiness all up in his head. I guess. Oh, Maria just can't run. Oh. God, fucking sticky keys. No! Fucking no! Shut your fucking face. Fucking hate that shit. Um. Ugh. Okay, here's the ghosties. It's been lonely, hasn't it? It's been painful, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. It's alright. Don't lie to your own feelings. Uh, that's right. You are not making a mistake at all. Uh, let's make them pay with your despair and your anger. Uh, the only ones who understand you are us. Come, Maria, we are waiting for- we are waiting you. Okay, so we're in this cre a field of flowers. Huh? Why was I here? What do I do? I- Oh, Hakusama! Oh no. Can we talk? Who the heck are you? Oh no. You came. You finally came for me. I've always been waiting for you. That man who always gets in the way. Did something happen between you and Ohako? Don't you already know? My true identity. You don't have to lie to your own feelings, you know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Uh. uh that face. Why? You mustn't run. This is the truth. The real you. No. No! Oh god. Oh no. I am you. You are me. Uh, we get a bad end? I get a feeling we got a bad end. Bad end. Maybe not? There's like stuff going on. Hey, hey, you're in! Wake up! Wake up, piece of shit! Huh, I was sleeping. He sound- he sound asleep. And also, there's various... Maria! Where is Maria, Johan? <coughs> uh, excuse me, sorry. Could she possibly be outside? Why did you take your eyes off her, Johan? <laughs> um... No, I'm sorry. It's my fault for not telling you anything. Yeah, like you should clue us in. Well, that's so, but I went ahead on my own to your underground... Your room's underground place and ended up seeing it. Is all that really true? That Maria is the witch. Let's talk about that while we look for Maria. Oh, I called it! I called it! Johan, you'll help me out, right? Okay. Alright then. So let's let's look for Maria. So there's like two of us, we're in a party? Uh, what's this? This is bad. Let's hurry, Johan, before it's too late. Okay, let's do savey save. Um, make a record. Uh, here. Because why not? Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. My finger slipped. Um, yeah, let's go and find Maria, see what's going on with all this. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is, this is a weird story. It's a cool story. But it's like, uh, okay, what's going on? What's going on? What's the going on? Just as you saw that underground room, Maria's true identity is the witch. Oh, oh no. 
Even so, she has shrunk a considerable amount compared to when I first saw her. Because you, like, took all her power away. Right? That day, I failed to kill her. At that time, she didn't have that much magic power. Her despair, her longing for life, ended up making the original witch's curse of the horror stories into reality. And then, as I saw it, the witch split into shadows and the embodiments of the curse and Maria, the innocent girl. Oh, wow. Oh, God, so it's all her. Ah. Oh. Those, shadow those shadows were mere thoughts and feelings without a body that were too weak to do anything against me, which is why they seek Maria, their own body, in order to carry out their revenge. Oh, no, we did a bad thing by going and seeing her. If the curses were to take hold of the body. The village will be swallowed by the curse and it'd all be over, wouldn't it? That, at the very least, is something I must stop. This was my mistake. I must take responsibility for my own actions. Yeah, you kind of fucked up, dude. You're in. Uh, I've got to follow. Oh, is he in our party? Oh god. Oh, they're just all running around and shit. What is this? Oh, don't get in the way. Don't get in the way, man. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> <coughs> I was a little too enthusiastic about that. <coughs> <coughs> well, I thought I could do that. And it turns out I couldn't. Oh, God. That was the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> It'll be fine. Calm down, Johan. They're merely shadows. They can't do anything against us. And besides, they too are part of Maria. Oh, God. <coughs> oh, God. Okay. Revenge, revenge, everyone can just go die. You are a terrible guy, terrible guy. Why, why? Uh, okay, so they're just like running around. And it's your fault. Uh, no. I didn't do anything. Well, oh, I'll go Sama, maybe. <laughs> a crying voice? From where? Uh, it hurts. It's lonely. It's painful. It's scary. Nobody, nobody ever came to help us. <coughs> wow. I should not do that voice anymore. The foolish but the hero of the entire village can go and rot and perish for all I care. Again. But I get the feeling she wasn't always a witch. I don't know. They disappeared? I get the feeling... Don't worry about it. <clears throat> it's fine. Because everything is just as she said. Oh, did they all go into Maria? Oh, God. <clears throat> Maria. Are you okay? Are you a witch now? Sorry, I needed a drink. Maria! Uh, she's sleeping. What a relief. It seems we made it in time. <clears throat> God, that fucked up my voice. Ah, uh, you see, Johan, I have something to ask of you. Yeah. Alright. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Just, just vanquish them. Like you do with the other ones. Don't get in my way. Johan, I have something to ask of you. W what could it be at this kind of time? <clears throat> Take Maria along with you and get out of this forest right now. What are you saying? You remember how you came here, right? Going along that path, you'll definitely be able to get out of here. You come with us too, Yuren. He can't. He's gotta, like, keep the... I can't. Oh, god. As long as I have this box, I cannot get out of here. Oh. Um. Well, how do we get it off? Now, go, Johan. It's the on if it's only you guys, you might be able to get out of here. I told you, didn't I, that I needed to take responsibility for my own actions. I will keep all of her curse locked in here. Aww. Please take care of Maria, Johan. <coughs> Damn it, I won't give- I won't give up, Yuren. I'll definitely come back to see you again. You just wait. <coughs> Don't you disappear off on me. 
Okay, so he's gonna doctor her up and then he's gonna fight the switch or something. My, my, you're always criticizing me while crying like that. If it's <clears throat> you with Maria, I'm sure you guys will be able to do well, surely. Speaking of which, you were Maria too, weren't you? I'll keep you company until the end. Now come. Oh. Oh, he just like absorbs them into himself. Oh. Oh. Oh, I guess we gotta like run out of here. And not let the ghosties get us. Not get the ghosts. <coughs> I carried Maria and rushed for my life back to the path which I previously came. It's hard to comment in these, like, blank areas because it's like, you don't know, like, what's gonna happen and when dialogue is gonna come up. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, when I came to, Maria and I were collapsed in the forest. A serene atmosphere and the voices of birds echoed, making it feel as if the, that frightful atmosphere was just a while, just a while ago was all unreal. No matter how many times I visited that forest after that, I never arrived at Yurin's place. What happened to that guy, I wonder? Is this an ending? Is this, do we get like a bad ending or something? I, I feel like we made it. oh, okay. Oh, so we're like in the forest. Oh, she's like an adult now. <clears throat> Johan, are you properly following along? It's fine, I'm here. As Maria woke up, she was surprised by her own appearance. In honesty, I was surprised as well. Maria was a woman, not much different in age from us. Surely Ohako-sama used some magic to make me bigger, just like Cinderella. <coughs> the way she looks now is probably her original appearance. However, her mental age is still that of a little girl, and her previous memories are still gone. Hey, Johan, the fact that the magic hasn't worn off... Means that Ohako-sama is still alive, right? Yes, that's right. Then let's find him soon. Cause I'm gonna express my anger at how he just disappeared on us like that. Maria quickly recovered in health, and then we immediately left the village. The old men were harshly against it, but I didn't really feel like staying in that village anymore. <clears throat> and besides, I wanted to take Maria along to somewhere where we could feel more at liberty. To what? I just where did Ohako-sama go really now? It'll be fine if we go around various towns. We'll see him again. I guess so. Yes, I believe it. All right, we're walking. We're we're walking and uh. <coughs> oh right, Maria. Have you ever seen the sea? No. Well, me neither. We might as well go there then. Yes. Alright then. But I think, like, he... His curse was, like, lifted because he died, right? Oh! Uh, is this good end? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh... Okay, um, th this is an end. I'm not sure if this is good end. I feel like it's not, because I feel like we could have, like, saved Ohako-sama if it was a good ending. So, I don't know, I might need to, like, research that a little bit, figure out, like, what is the good ending. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, so I, I guess we reached some end. Some sort of the not game over end, end, I guess. Cina Cinanon. It's like Cinnabon. But, wait, was it a white box fin? <coughs> Maybe is that the good ending? I don't know. Um. Oh. Ending three. Okay. What I was entrusted with. Oh. And he has a box, though. So I don't know. I feel like there was a way to get, like, all of the fragment shard thingies. So, um. I read that kind of ish as I was <coughs> looking up the fucking dice puzzle. I don't know what the fuck that is. Anyway. Um. 
I don't know, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and like figure that all out. Uh, I think we might be a little short on this one. I can't tell because I played like for five minutes at the beginning. But anyway, um, that's gonna be it for this one. So thank you for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next video. And goodbye to all sirs and madams and everyone in between.